Lightspeed Spanish and this is our blog number four for um, everybody for everybody <laughs> exactly I don't know why I said four blog number four and it's about today Cynthia what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the verbs quedar mm -hmm. quedarse mm -hmm. eh, encontrar y encontrarse aha and the focus that we're going to have is on about meeting up with somebody because this is such a confusing thing. Um, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué tal? ¿Bien? Ah, sí, muy bien. Gracias. ¿Cómo right. estás? Bien, bien. Fenomenal. Muy bien. Um, okay, what I, what I hear with, with lots of students that, um, that I work with is that they often, when they want to say, I met up with somebody... Oh, I'm going to meet up with somebody, maybe to have a coffee or whatever. They go for the verb encontrarse, okay, which is to find oneself. And they say something like, Oh, el sábado me encontré con mi hermana. Mm -hmm. I always use my sister as an example because I don't have friends, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's always comes or, or your mom. Oh, my mom, your mom yeah. Your yeah. So, me encontré. For you, as a Spanish speaker, what does that what does that mean? If you say me encontré con mi hermana, that means to me that you bumped into her. Okay, so it isn't actually organ meeting up because you've organized it beforehand. No, it hasn't been organized. Me encontré me encontré allí con Pedro. Okay, so that in English is ran into, ran across, usually. came across, bumped into. Yes, yeah? usually it's to bump to bump into somebody. Okay. So you wouldn't you wouldn't use that if you said, look, I met up with to have a coffee. Yeah? That's encontrarse. So only bumping into. I would say yes. Me encontré con encontrarse con. Mm -hmm. I must say that this is probably I would imagine that in some countries in, in other Spanish speaking countries Maybe encontrarse is to agree to meet up. It could be, yes. But certainly in, in the Sp uh, Spanish peninsula, what's the verb that they use then to agree to meet up? If you agree to meet with somebody, uh -huh. that would be quedar con. Quedar con. Yeah, not quedarse. No, not in reflexive. Quedar. Quedar. Okay. So, for example, what, how would you say then, I, I met up with my sister? Quedé con mi hermana. Okay, and that for your year is an agreement, yes. previous agreement, organized to meet up, yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. So, quedar is used with some prepositions, um, con. Quedar con. So, that's, a, that's to agree to meet up with, mm -hmm. yes? And I've heard it used with para. And what, 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 how does it work with para? Um, well, if you say, for example, quedamos para comer, mm -hmm. we agreed to meet up to eat or for lunch or para comer para cenar ok and can you use that for time as well quedamos para las siete mm -hmm. if you want to fix the time uh -huh. yeah? ok so we, we, para las siete o, o a las siete uh -huh. o a las siete so para and a, a or prepositions that I'll work with it. ok um, so that's in the past quedé con alguien and quedar en Algo. Okay, and what's what does that mean? That you agree on something. For example, um, you can say, "Vale, entonces quedamos en que tú vienes." So you say, "Okay, so we agree that you come here." Mm -hmm. Quedamos en algo. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, o entonces quedamos en. Estar en el centro a las ocho. Exactamente. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we agree that we're going to be at the centre at eight. Mm -hmm. Because I've heard the question, entonces, ¿en qué quedamos? ¿En qué quedamos? Yeah, what are we going to agree to? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. what are we agreeing to? Okay, and talking about future, using quedar in the future, so okay. I'm going to meet up with, with a friend on Friday. Okay, quedaré con mi amiga el viernes. Mm -hmm. Quedaré... Can you say, voy a quedar? Voy a quedar. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to mm-hmm. meet my friend. And could you use that in if you're talking about a future event? Could you use that just in just saying "quedo"? See, si. mm-hmm. if you when you say in English, "I'm meeting with my friend on Friday," mm-hmm. when you're referring to future, then yes, we would say "quedo con mi amiga el viernes." Okay, so we've used four, the three futures there, haven't we? Mm-hmm. And all of them have the place. Yeah, cool. So let's stick with "quedar." What about "quedar"? Say then, what's that about? Okay, quedar and quedarse are completely different. Quedarse is to stay somewhere. Okay. For example, um, ayer me quedé con mis primos. Yesterday I stayed with my cousins. Okay. Like a stay over or you just stayed. <clears throat> All right, so it it tends to be yeah you, you can maybe stay for a certain length of time. Uh huh. Or if if you say for example. Yo fui a, a Tenerife y me quedé en un hotel de cinco estrellas. Correcto. Yeah? So it's, it's staying in some place. And typically, if you overnight stay or in a hotel or, or whatever. Sí. Um, okay. It also means, but this is colloquial, it also means to pull someone's leg. Ah. Mm-hmm. How does that work then? If you say... Um, Oh, Gordon, me estoy quedando contigo. I'm pulling your leg. Ah, is that like, uh, uh, te estoy tomando el pelo? Ajá, exactly the same. So, me, me estoy quedando contigo. Ajá. Ah, right. Quedarse con alguien can also mean to... I didn't know that. No? Mm, no. If yeah. you say, te estás quedando conmigo? Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? Ah, why haven't you told me this before? Very bad. I'm sure I have. Mm. No, no, it's news. <laughs> it's news for me. You have probably. I just wasn't listening. Um, <clears throat> right. So we've got quedar to agree to meet up. Sí. Yeah. With para or con, with the person or in para or in. in order to do something or in. Yeah. Then we've got quedarse. Quedarse. En. To remain. To stay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we've got encontrarse. Encontrarse. And that's kind of to bump into. Sí. Yeah? So what's the difference between me encontré con Marco o encontré a Marco? Me encontré con Marco en la fiesta. So I went to a party and I went, Oh, Marco, hello. Bumped into. I didn't know you were here. Came across. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, encontré a Marco. So I was looking for him. Where is Marco? Oh, there you are. Encontré a Marco. I found him. So that's, I found, yeah. So encontrar is just to find. I found. I was looking for something and I found that person. I was looking for someone. Encontrarse, to bump into somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when, uh, again, just to, to, to recover what we were saying, one of the biggest errors that I hear is are, are people using encontrarse to mean to meet up. So now you know. I suppose in some context, the thing is, I don't tell my students this because they get mixed up, mm-hmm. but in some contexts, yes, you could say, nos encontramos en el aeropuerto, sí. as in, we agreed to meet up, but because it causes so much confusion, mm-hmm. just go for quedar, because it's mm-hmm. clear, and people tend to say quedar anyway, quedamos en el aeropuerto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody's clear that that's an agreement. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. What I, that's what I say. Yeah. Okay. I, I suppose it's in context, isn't it? If you say, bueno, todos nos encontramos en la puerta del hotel, uh-huh. or en la entrada del hotel, it's clear. We all met up in the... Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But I, I I would say, if you could choose, just go for quedar. Muy bien. Muy bien, Cynthia. I think Gracias. that's nice and clear. <laughs> sí, de nada. <laughs> Gracias a ti, Gordon. Ah, so where are we? That's it. So let's hope that that's that's helped thing, uh, to clear things up a little bit for you. And uh, nos vemos en el próximo blog. video blog. Sí, vale. vale. Muchas gracias, Cynthia. A ti, Gordon. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. A vosotros.